Thanks for your interest in Screen Scraper. This video will give you a quick tour of Screen Scraper and show you how it can save you time and give you easy access to volumes of data on the web. It's been said that the internet is the world's largest database. Screen Scraper is your connection to that database. Screen Scraper allows you to mine data from the internet. You might use it to extract products from an e-commerce website and download them to a spreadsheet, build a shopping comparison site that allows products from many websites to be searched from one location, perform market research by consolidating information from many websites into a central database, or migrate data from one CRM solution to another. Imagine being able to automatically perform web searches to extract the data from the search results and to download that data into a spreadsheet. Addresses, prices, descriptions, photos, virtually anything that you can see. The extracted data can be formatted, altered, and combined with other data so that it meets your needs. Screen Scraper plays nicely with your existing software. It can be used with most modern programming languages and operating systems. Screen Scraper is also designed to interface with various technologies, systems, and devices. So let's give you a feel for what it's like to use Screen Scraper. Screen Scraper works through a built-in proxy server, which means that it can monitor all of the traffic between your computer and the internet. At weather.com, I would like to automatically retrieve the local forecast. While the proxy server is running, we can perform a generic search, in this case, by zip code. Weather.com has taken us straight to the information that we're after. The proxy server back in Screen Scraper now lists the files that were just processed on the website. In this case, there were several other items recorded, such as JavaScript files. The screen scraper will generally remove unimportant files such as images. The search results page happens to be at the very top of our list. The basic container for a project is called a scraping session. By creating a new session, we can add to it a template version of the recently acquired search results page. We will name the session appropriately, and then return to the proxy server listed in the left-hand pane. Under the Progress tab, we have the option to generate a scrapable file in the existing session. We will select the file from the list and then press the Go button. Again, we'll name the file appropriately, called Search Results. The idea here is that we set up a pattern for the session to look for. In this case, we would like to retrieve several parts of the forecast, so we will give a name to the pattern that will easily identify it, such as Forecast Info. I happen to already know a very unique keyword found in the page source to help define the starting point for the pattern to lock into. We can insert the variable called data record, which will contain the information from the page. Now we need to find a unique piece of text or page source that will define where the pattern will end. The link immediately following the forecast data will do nicely. We will copy that text and paste it into our pattern. I've already set up a few specific patterns to extract individual numbers and words from the page. Now to finish up, we would like to export the data somehow. Screen Scraper has many built-in commands that can be accessed through short scripts. We'll quickly throw in a script to perform the export by simply writing the extracted data out to a CSV. Screen Scraper conveniently includes a command to accomplish just that. We can then associate our small script with our pattern and tell the session to run it after finding the forecast information. To be sure that our pattern is correct, we can run the scraping session. The log shows us the various pieces of data that were found and tells us that our CSV script was indeed executed. And there we have it. In addition to saving data to files, Screen Scraper can extract and save data to a database and even generate RSS feeds from scraped information. Screen Scraper has been used since 2002 in everything from a one-man shop to some of the largest companies in the world. While you're getting started with Screen Scraper, and even after you've tackled several projects with it, there will always be plenty of help. You'll want to make use of our online documentation and tutorials, examples, and forums. We also offer email and phone support to licensed users. So take a minute to download our fully functional free trial version of Screen Scraper, or if you're interested in having us do a project for you, contact us for a free quote at our services page.